Hi, welcome back to AFTV. We're back with a transfer update. Not someone coming in, but someone coming out. From Fabrizio Romano, just confirmed that Granit Xhaka to Bayer Leverkusen. Here we go. Agreement reached in May, now being signed between clubs. The green light arrived after Rice deal done. Arsenal received 25 million euros fee for Xhaka and understand that Granit will sign until June 2028 on a five-year deal. Now I've got Lee Judges with me because Lee, that's your mate and he's off. Yeah, yeah, disappointed that he's going, but um, I can understand why, you know, the reasons and all that. Like obviously, he's played in Germany before. Um, it's a long contract for him and uh, that. But yeah, that's a little bit sad because I think, you know, the last two seasons he's been brilliant, particularly last season, he was fantastic. And um, I think we're going to miss him. We're going to think we're going to miss him. Do you think, though, this was. He reached his peak of his ceiling, do you think, last season? Do you think he could do one more year at Arsenal and go to another level, especially with you know, the competitions we have and that we're in next season? Do you think he could have went to another level or do you think it's the right time for him to move on? Oh, that's a very good question, that is. Like, well you done. Know, um, <laughs> you know, I, I honestly think, like, you, you're probably right. I think that, mm. you know, he's, this is the time to cash in if you're going to cash in. Like, yeah. you know, 25 million, you know, done well to get that sort of uh, dough for him. I think, like... A couple of seasons ago, I think when Roma were interested, it was about 15 yeah. million, like, you know. And, Euros uh, as well, that is. That's yeah, like 12 so, million pounds. So at the end of the day, he's done well for us for those last couple of years. And now, you know, a fee has come in for the club, which we can reinvest, you know. And, and I look back on it and, you know, probably the most, what can I say, like, controversial character that's been at Arsenal for a very, very long while. Ooh, Adeboy uh, was in there, but Granit is yeah, definitely yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, Listen, I, I have not known no one to divide the Arsenal fan base <laughs> as much as Granit Xhaka. So well done, Granit. Like, you know, that, 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 it doesn't take a lot, but it does yeah, take a lot. You it know? does, so, yeah. Um, but I have to say, the turnaround, the turnaround is sensational yeah. and was sensational. And for him to leave on a high with probably like, every fan now a little bit disappointed that he is going you know what I mean a couple of years ago probably you know it wouldn't have been a, a fanfare or anything for him yeah. like, you know so credit to him credit to his personality yep. to stick with it and come through it and um, yeah I thought he was outstanding for us last season and um, listen I'm going to be honest I'm a little bit worried about what we're going to do in the midfield because I felt that it was weak last year mm. even with him in, in the uh, squad um on a personal note, I probably would have liked him to stay, but Fair. you know, um, in 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 Arteta now we trust, don't we? Like, in Arteta you know I mean? now we trust. And I think you make a good point there. The turnaround was was sensational. What an unbelievable story he's had. I know, like you said, after that Palace game and he threw the, the mm. armband down and, and and how the fans reacted to him wasn't great. But to then go to the last game of the season where they're saying, "Granted, we want you to stay." Um, what a mad turnaround! Then when I was singing in, singing that in, in in the in the stands and. Got to take my hat off to him because uh, listen, I was a critic of him, but he he, he changed me. And, and do you know what? Recently, a lot of things at Arsenal have changed. My opinion, whether that's Mikel, whether that's the owners, whether that's Granit Xhaka, it's been it's been it's been a great turnaround for Arsenal and the club. And Granit Xhaka has been um, the epitome of that. And he's done his service, done very well in the last two seasons. I know a lot of people kind of just give the one season, which I think is a bit harsh. I think the season before as well yeah. was very consistent. And um, yeah, it's just a, a great turnaround. And I think that it's now time for him to move on. And I think he'll he'll do really well by Leverkusen yeah I, you know I hope he does as well like you know and, and the one thing that I don't think he gets the credit for is that he's um, his fitness levels he's yeah. never hardly ever injured um, and, and he puts in a shift every game I, I, I'm I'm going to say like the, the thing that straight away springs to mind is that tackle against Newcastle yeah, in the last couple yeah. of minutes you know uh, and I, I, I honestly think that that one thing that I've really always liked about Granit Xhaka even through the bad times and, and that was that I think Arsenal had a tendency of being bullied a lot. Yeah. And when he come along, no one messes with him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I like that in a, in a player like, do you know what I mean? Like if there was any little bits of skullduggery going on, he was in it like, you know. And yeah, you know, like people blame him for the Liverpool game. I don't, for me. No. I, I think at the end of the day, he stands his ground, he backs his players. And um, it's passion, the heat of the game. That, it, it, yeah. it, 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 that's what, it's what happens. I don't think it, yeah, I don't think it. it I honestly it. think he'd be missed in and around the, 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 the dressing room as well. Yeah, I, big I, character. I, I, get a, I get the feeling that um, he's well liked there, respected. Mm. And he was probably a captain without being a captain in the end. And I think that was probably his downfall at Arsenal is that probably a lot of people, a lot of Arsenal fans, didn't feel that he merited being in the team, let alone be captain. And I yeah. think that that put a little bit more pressure on him. But Listen, to come back since Mikel took over, 
I, I think he's been one of our most consistent players uh, of, of, of all, like, really, mm. you know. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Mikel's probably a little bit disappointed to be letting him go, but there's obvious reasons why. And uh, But isn't it nice that we can, like, see a player go now and wish yep. him, wish wish him well? Best, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I that, is... Like, that, that is a, a difference in this club for, for the last year or so we you know we've been wanting players to go I, I did say last season um, that there will be sacrifices yeah it's you know in the transfer market and unfortunately and um, granite is one of them but it looks like he wants to go as well yeah um, so yeah he, he, he did say he wanted to achieve something great um, at Arsenal before he left um, and listen obviously we didn't pick up silverware but getting back into Champions League I think I think it's a, it's a good look and if you look at his numbers last season seven goals seven assists I mean that's not for, for Granit Xhaka for that position as well and a player like Granit Xhaka that's a good return from last season so he's achieved he's going out on a high shall we say yeah definitely. he's going on a high but I think it could have been a little bit better for him if, mm. if, if it was me and I, I, I spoke to him I said well what, what, what you know you've got a chance maybe of winning the league and, yeah. and, and and obviously playing in the Champions League this year, like, you know, for, for Arsenal, wouldn't you fancy just giving us one more year? Um, mm. But I, I think that maybe, maybe Mikel, I think he's got a good relationship with Definitely. Mikel. He wants and Mikel's Mikel. probably told him, look, you might not get as many games as you would like next season. And it's probably given him the option to, to find another club. That's why it seems to me, because, you know, why wouldn't you want to be at Arsenal at this moment exactly, in time? Exactly, exactly. And going back to Germany where he's been before, I think he I think he made the decision. I agree with you there. Now, the question I'm going to be asking everyone, and I'm going to ask you this as well, are we leaving ourselves a bit light? Now, this is where it gets, the conversation is, get, is going to get a bit more um, progressive on the sense of, you know, Jack is now off. Partey, for me, I think he might go. I know that a lot of the fan base want to see him stay, uh, Thomas Partey, but if Jack is going and Partey and goes as well, and all we brought in so far in that midfield is Declan Rice, and well, we don't know how that's going to play, but I'm assuming he's going to play maybe in the eight role. Um, are we leaving ourselves a bit light? Is it something that, that you're worried to see him go? Like you said, you could have stayed one more year. If Partey goes, are you worried that we're getting rid of like players in that midfield? 100%. I think if. Uh if we was to keep Granite Xhaka and Partey and, and add what we've had, I think that's exactly what we needed. Yeah. Um, but if we bring in um, obviously Declan Rice as we are and then let Xhaka go, we're, we're one injury away from where we was last season. Do you know what I mean? Like, and the drop off is was massive, too much, yeah. massive. You know. So, and if if Thomas Partey goes, then you know I, I expect another two signings. I I, I think. Do you think they? Do you think the? Do you think they're doing that? Do you think the Edu's and, and the board are looking at it and thinking we're all right to you know let Jacker go and potentially party because we will bring someone else in? Or, yeah. 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 I think that they will. I, I think that um, they're not silly. Well, well, you say that. No, 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 they're not. <laughs> there has been you know no. windows in the past. I think obviously yeah, has changed. Yeah, they left ourselves a little bit short last season. Yeah, there's a did. January we, window we, where we didn't we, we needed we, a striker. We didn't get one. We was very very short in midfield up until January until we brought in Jorginho. But what I'm saying is now with Champions League football, it would be naive and stupid of them to do that, like you know. <laughs> and I don't think that they are. You know, and I, I I do think that you have to trust them. I agree and, with that. and, and their, their their record at this moment in time shows that you should. Mm. You know, um, I, I think they've made very very good um, acquisitions in the last couple of windows. Again, looking to do business early on this season. And if they are to let a player go, then you just got to trust the, the the management team to bring in somebody, or, or or they know when it's best to let them go. And I think that that's something that we've not had at Arsenal for a few years now. Yeah. Right? And I think that what's happened is, because of their decisions of Edu and Arteta, they've built up the trust of the, the Arsenal fans. 100%. Well, certainly myself they have, 100%. you know what I mean? And that's why I'll give them, uh, a, you know, I'm not say like a, a pass, that's the wrong word, but like, you know, patience. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, give them yeah. patience, see what they do. I think that they're probably going to have to sell a couple of players now, but I would like them to, if they are to get rid of uh, Thomas Party and, uh, you know, now with Grant Sherry, I'd like them to do it early. Yep. So that we can get somebody in early as well, like not leave it to the last minute and see what goes from there. Like, but it know. seems like the board, they're being proactive with it. And I'm going to kind of just dissect the, um, this the statement one more time, just for everyone uh, before we wrap up. But Arsenal received 25 million euros 
Euros. Now, Lee mentioned it just at the beginning of this video. You know, that's, that's a lot more than what we were offered for Granit Xhaka um, last season. Uh, it's about 20 million pounds. Obviously, he was offered from Roma about 11 million to 12 million last year. So, it has been an increase there. I actually would have probably wanted to see a little bit more, if I'm honest. Maybe a 30 million euros personally, maybe a 25 million pound fee because he had such a good season last season. And, and there is a player in there, and I can't believe I'm saying that. I think he is coming. He may be going into a bit, not his twilight period at all, but he's not going to hit this heights, I don't think, of what you hit last season at another club. But he's still a good player. But I still, it's a good feat. Arsenal are going to take that and hopefully use that and reinvest it. I also want to highlight the fact that it says um, agreement reached in May. So it shows that Arsenal were doing, they were proactive. And it was off the back of the rice mm. deal that we gave the green light. So all of these discussions were being done way before the window opened. And you've seen the start of this window that Arsenal are being proactive and getting the deals done early. And it's, it's a good sign for us as Arsenal fans. So I just wanted to highlight that. And I'm going to give you the, the statement in whole right here. Fabrizio Romano has confirmed Granite Xhaka to buy Leverkusen. Here we go. Agreement reached in May, now being signed between clubs. Green light arrived after rice deal done. Arsenal received 25 million euros for Xhaka. I understand Granite will sign until June 20. 2028 on a five-year deal. So Granit Xhaka, thank you so much. I want to say that. Thank you for your services. I think you've, you've been, you've had the best turnaround story I've seen yeah. um, from an Arsenal player. So big up you. Um, and Lee, your friend's gone, but you might get a new friend in we your seat next. Like, you never yeah, might never see a new like. friend in, in, in the yeah. family friend, you know, yeah, on the, in you your never seat. Know, like, you know, so, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I just want to echo what you just said there. Like, you know, uh, good luck for the future for him. And, uh, you know, I, I think that he'll always be welcome back here and yeah. get a good reception 100%. and, I, and I, I have to say that that reception at the end of last season for him was you know um, if someone would have said to you like after that Crystal Palace game that's the reception he's going to get in a couple of years time you wouldn't, time. You wouldn't have ever believed it but yeah. that's what football does for you Amen it turns around your opinions and um, it goes with everybody's blessing I, I believe 100% well that's it for the transfer update for now like I said our Arsenal have been active so we may be back very soon it might be me it might be Robbie it might be Lee it might be Turkish it may even be James but listen like the video if you like the video and hopefully there'll be some more business done and announcements coming our way very soon take care peace Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk Subscribe to us on YouTube Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch We've got content for every platform So check it out